Well, when I do finally take an extended break, which I think is inevitable if I'm going to make it to the finish line, it will not be in a place as noisy as this town. After a very poor sleep, mosquitoes came through the windows, I eventually closed them and opened my door to the hallway. By the way, a trick to keep the room a little cooler, you're willing to sleep with the front door open. But by then, I'd been kept up a fair bit of the night with itching mosquito bites. So back to today, the tired body on the way south. I think I'm going to cut the climb in half today versus try to do the whole thing. I'll descend to about 6,000 feet here momentarily. The climb pops out. It's over 14,000 feet. Just don't think I have it in me. It's about 8 o'clock, so I probably have the time. But I also understand from my friends that came this way already, Mark and Nicolette, they've been amazing. They sent me some messages this morning, lots of helpful information. That it's all paved, so I'll be able to ride along at a faster pace than yesterday. <laughs> rolling out of the hostel about 8 30 heading up to 14k and we'll descend about a thousand feet hang out at 13 plus for a while many miles ascend a few hundred feet near the end of that and then a massive descent i slept better last night no mosquitoes that's for sure far too cold up here This morning, eventually, found some coffee. I'd say I'm quite tired. Looking forward to biology helping me out a little bit. In 20 minutes, I should be feeling a little better.
day's challenge. The moment you think you might be getting a break. Well, sure, sometimes it persists and you get a break. Maybe a tailwind going up the canyon. But just as frequently, you start to feel good about what's possible. And then something like a headwind just shows up, shuts you down. Oh, so that's what's happened here. I'm riding across what looks to me identical to South Park, North Park, but especially South Park in Colorado. The difference being, I'm well over 13,000 feet here often very close to 14. So I haven't descended very far from the pass. It took me four hours to reach this morning. My thinking is I'm gonna pull a U-turn here, quit, not even 50 miles into the day. It doesn't please me one bit. Uh, but maybe the right thing to do.